Hello everyone and welcome to a Tiny Rhino's WordPress video tutorial on installing WordPress plugins. Before we jump in, I would like to remind all of the WordPress users out there to head on over to atinyrhino.com to learn how to increase your organic search engine rankings. Check out the tools and our blog because there is a lot of great content and helpful resources there. Also, if you are not watching this on our blog but on YouTube, you can click on the link in the description to go to our blog to copy and paste any sample code that I'm showing you here on our WordPress website. Okay, let's jump into the tutorial now. Before we get into installing WordPress plugins, we need to know exactly what a plugin is. So a plugin is basically a mini program that runs outside of the WordPress installation. It basically extends WordPress. So you can call a plugin an extension. And there are plugins for so many features and functionalities that will extend your website past what the normal WordPress installation will do. So some categories for plugins are search engine optimization, social media sharing tools, e-commerce, security, caching, and the list goes on. So we're going to look at a few of those. Now, if you're not logged in to your WordPress backend, log in, and then let's go to plugins, and then add new. Now right away, we'll see some plugins here, and it just appears as a two-column grid. And we are right now in the Featured filter, but there are other filters, including Popular, Recommended, Favorites, and there are some Commercial. Now, Favorites is pretty cool because if you have an account on WordPress.org, you can basically add Favorites to your WordPress username, and they will show up right here, which is really cool. But we're going to look at one of the featured plugins because featured, they are the plugins that are handpicked by the WordPress development team. But before we do that, we simply can click on the install now button, but we also need to look at some of these statistics here. So on WordPress.org, the plugins get rated from one to five stars. You can decide based on what your standard is, what you'll install and what you won't on, based on these stars. But also, when you see the number of installs, that should tell you how popular these plugins really are. But the most important thing is to check if the plugin is compatible with your version of WordPress. And you can also see the last time it was updated. Now, if it's updated within a month or two, then it's fine to install. Past about two months, we need to really just test those plugins out because you don't know, based on when your WordPress installation was updated, it will tell you if it's compatible with your version of WordPress. But we do recommend installing the latest version of WordPress. WordPress will tell you on the top right here, which my installation needs to be updated. You can basically update right here. Okay, but if it's compatible, it's safe to install with your version of WordPress because it has been tested. So let's go ahead, let's install WP Super Cache, we just click on install now. And then we'll see a couple of messages on the screen. And that's it. All we need to do is click the activate plugin link. And it takes a couple of seconds to activate the plugin. And once it's activated, we can start using it and setting it up. And now here's a list of all of my installed plugins your list will obviously be different. Now, we can also look for plugins on WordPress.org if we need to. Now, we have the same filter system that we do in our backend on WordPress. So we have featured, we have popular plugins, which are basically the most installed plugins. You can see that they're installed over a million times. And we have our favorites. Now, when you log in to WordPress.org, you can add plugins to your favorites and it'll show up in this list, but they also show up in the WordPress backend. So let's go ahead and do one. So if we click on Featured, we'll just go to BuddyPress. So you click on that plugin and then you'll see the information for that plugin, okay? Now you can look at the star ratings just like you would in the backend. You can see the description and also how to add it. But What's really cool is that you can add those plugins to your favorites. So if you click on the heart icon, 
All you need to do is click on favorites and then they'll show up here. It takes, it takes a couple of minutes, but it just showed up in mine and that's in my WordPress backend. And that's basically how you install WordPress plugins. Thanks for watching and remember, if you have a WordPress website and you want to learn how to increase your organic search engine ranking, then head on over to atinyrhino.com to check out some amazing tools and helpful articles to teach you how to do just that.